Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and welcome back to part two of my huge haul. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed the first one, welcome back to part two of my gigantic haul. Let's just say I think I'm done shopping for quite a while. Um, so what I'm going to do is finish going through the Minte paper sets that I got from Blue Moon Scrapbooking. And then I will go through the rest of the items that I got that were a combination of um, scrapbook.com and a cherry on top. I think those were the most of this came from one of those two places. Oh, and Spiegel Moth Scraps. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of try, I don't, I say this, but it never happens. I try, I'm going to try to go a little faster. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. Um, but like I said, on the first one, get yourself a cup of coffee. If you enjoy a haul video, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing my goodies. And with all of these, um, if there's anything you want to see in more detail, because I'm not going to open these collections up, if you want to see especially these Minte papers, which again, I cannot tell you how awesome the quality of these papers are. They're stunning. Um, if you want to see them close up and you want me to do like an actual open them up and show you all the pattern papers. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. I will film that for each of the sets that I didn't show. Um, but in order for the sake of time, because again, the first video was long and this one could be just as long. Um, I wanted to make sure at least I gave you a look at them. And so, like I said, these um, last three sets from Minte all came from Blue Moon Scrapbooking, which is, like I said, the only place I've seen so far that you can get them. Um, if anyone knows of another place to buy it, uh, you can always leave it down below. Um, I like to support, you know, the online scrapbooking businesses out there because I definitely don't have any local um, shops near me. Um, I have like the big box, but they don't sell anything like this. So the next collection is Celebrations, and here are all of the, or a small glimpse at the pattern papers. So a lot of the backgrounds of these pattern papers have a, a text. It's like a watercolor paper with a text in each of the colors um, was a lot of the backgrounds for this one. And then this one has florals and cupcakes because again, we're talking a celebration. So it is kind of got that birthday kind of theme, but really fun, really great to cut apart. Um, as I've said before, if you don't want to use it as a paper as a whole, really great to cut apart. The florals are as always stunning. The one thing I will say from this company is they, they can do a floral and they are beautiful. This one definitely leans toward this sort of, I want to say like a chartreuse green yellow color and then that jadeite teal color and then the light pink and then a little touch of yellow also is in there. So it is a beautiful color combination. This is the cut apart that is again behind, it's the back side of this first page. So there you see it's the, the sort of birthday theme that we're, that I'm talking about. So we have some balloons and we have some cakes and we have some cupcake towers and all of them have those beautiful florals intertwined in them. It's just, they're just, they're stunning. I really, really love them. And then this one has, instead of like the other packages had frames, this one has just some three by four kind of patterns and then I believe the back side of it has again like images that you could cut apart um, on you could take one of them and cut them apart and then even layer them up and make these into tags or other embellishment clusters so that is the celebrations this next collection was called happy place and I believe this was one of their new releases because they look to have started to come out with this is like a piece of chipboard so this is an entire chipboard sheet and these just pop out and yes they are adhesive backed 
I, I'm not sure. I can't attest to how good the adhesive is yet, but um, we'll see if it's like American Crafts and requires it to have its own adhesive. Um, but I do really love these. This again has that, this has like a light blue and a pink and then black and white color scheme. Really, really beautiful. Love the butterflies and the cameras. And then just some great little sentiments. Good morning sunshine, happiness is homemade, my favorite, my happy place, lifetime moments, good vibes. So really, really great sentiments for um, scrapping sort of every day, whatever occasions that you would like. Just really easy to use images. So I did get this because I thought that was kind of different. I'd only seen the paper packs before. And then here is the paper that actually goes with that. And like I said, it's going with that light blue and the pink and the black and white. So here is a little glimpse of the papers. Has a really great, this like parquet floor in a white wash um, is one of the pattern papers. It also has this text pattern paper. These beautiful florals, which again, really great for fussy cutting. It has one of the pattern papers is a door, like a white, um, whitewashed door. Uh, and then here is the, again, the cut aparts that are on the back. So really fun sort of everyday kind of images, not themed of any kind. And then here is that back page that has this, in this case, it's got like a window and then it's got other frames. And then the other side will have those icons that you can cut apart and potentially layer up or use separately but really, really beautiful. Love the colors in that one. Now this one was the only one that, this one definitely has that vintagey feel to it. It is called Life Stories. So if you're doing heritage photos, this could be a great collection for heritage uh, photos. It definitely has that vintage like peeling paint and sort of old world feeling to it. So I really like it. I do have older photos from my childhood and from my parents um, that I thought I could use, but I don't have an, any issue with using these for even current photos. Um, the papers themselves are stunning. These definitely I found with this collection were a lot more that I would probably cut bits and pieces from the pattern papers rather than use them as a whole. Um, it does have this great wood grain and this other sort of shiplap wood grain, which is for me a perfect background. It has this kind of fun marble. I don't know what I, that I would use the whole thing as a background, but definitely um, to mat some photos and things like that, that could be really great. So those are the pattern papers. And then again, there's a glimpse of some of the cut apart images. So like I said, very vintage kind of definitely would be great for those heritage photos. It really gives me that vibe for sure. And then the back page has all of the frames. Again, these remind me of the, almost like the Polaroid pictures. Um, and so, yeah, this is a good glimpse of kind of what the, some of the patterns that are in the back side of some of the papers in the collection. So Again, really, really beautiful papers. So that was what I had from Minte. Now, the rest of these, I tried to separate them in, sorry, I kind of have to like walk away from the, the volume a little bit. So if my voice goes in and out, it's because I'm turned around to, to grab something to show next. But these are all, these next couple, I kind of tried to put them in the collections so that all the collections would go together. Now, like I had said earlier, a lot of these, I only bought bits and pieces of some of the collections. I didn't buy like the whole thing. There's a couple where I bought like the paper pad um, and then a few bits and pieces, but not again, again, not the whole collection. And so, <laughs> excuse me. So here is what I 
have, and this is from the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Garden District. So I'm not going to open these up. If you want to see these opened and laid out, leave me a comment down below and I will be happy to do that in a separate video. I just don't want this to be so long because like I said, there's a lot and this video would go on forever if I opened every single package. But I love, if you've watched my videos, you definitely know that I love florals and the florals in this are beautiful. So I knew I wanted to at least get um, the ephemera packs. And the one thing about Simple Stories is I do find that uh, theirs aren't as huge as I find American Crafts die cuts to be or ephemera packages to be so I didn't mind I don't mind the size of these they're actually a usable size for the most part so I bought this was the bits and pieces oh and this is the scrapbook.com exclusive so I noticed that scrapbook.com for this set or this collection had some cus like some ones that were for their exclusive and then I bought the actual bits and pieces um, from the collection from Simple Stories themselves. So here's the back side of that one, which again, as you can see, is different pieces than the exclusive that I just showed from Simple Store from scrapbook.com. So plenty to play with. There'll be lots and lots of pieces. And again, the florals I love. And then this one here is the floral bits because again if I haven't said it I love a good floral and I love butterflies and this has both of them in it so perfect combination love the colors I love these coral and pinks a um, little bit of orange in there there it's really stunning it's a really beautiful collection I also picked up the sticker book so I will do a quick flip. So these are, I will say these sticker books are much like the American Craft ones in that the stickers aren't super thick. So you might want to look at putting them on a piece of cardstock and then cutting it out. Um, or if you're just going to put it on your layout, you know, they work just fine for that. You can always pop them up with some adhe dimensional adhesive, but lots of great um, little word stickers. I love tiny word stickers. Those are great. And then more, more floral embellishments, stickers. This also comes with some butterflies. None of the stickers in this collection pack are clear, so they are all like a paperback um, sticker. They have an alpha. I love this teal green. It's really beautiful. Then you have the circles really really pretty this one here oh I missed a page so this one is sort of like banners kind of faux almost the layered look um, but they don't have any dimension to them and then some tabs they say everything from be humble and kind enjoy the good life live love laugh thankful Dream big, best day ever. And here is some other sort of embellishment pieces that kind of give that illusion of them being dimensional, but they're actually not. But certainly if you put it on foam tape and whatnot, it would sort of give that feel. A whole page of hearts, which I love hearts. So that is beautiful very usable. This whole sticker book, everything is really usable. These ones have longer, I should turn it this way. Uh, these again are longer banner stickers and some other word stickers. And then last is just a whole bunch of labels, which in my opinion, you can never go wrong with having too many labels. So it's nice that these are all stickers and I can, you know, you can layer them up and really make your own customized embellishments. So that was a really great sticker book. 
and there's 369 stickers. I also picked up the stamp set because like I said, I really love stamps and the fact that they are reusable over and over again, so it's a great way to be able to make your own embellishments so that you never have to worry about running out of specific embellishments because you can always make your own. And this one had some really great butterflies and words and this little, like, I think this is like a music, it looks like a music um, line, some birds, some wreaths those little circles. Those would probably punch out with like a one inch circle punch. They look about like that. This, you could easily fussy cut this. There's a wreath. So really cute. Lots of usable little images and words. And then I have the chipboard. This is the scrapbook.com exclusive chipboard. And again, the pieces aren't huge. Like this floral is about the biggest. And while it's a little bit on the large side, most of these other pieces are not gigantic, making it very difficult to use. So I really liked that. And then this is the one that actually was with the collection from Simple Sto Stories for that, you know, that actually went with the collection, not the exclusive. So again, not the pieces aren't huge all really usable. It has that same floral so I now have two of them because basically yeah they're pretty much exactly the same and looking at it side by side the colors are pretty close. This one looks like it's a little bit yellow more yellow or vintage whereas this is more on white. So that is the one thing I will say if you're looking at these in the store or online I should say. The scrapbook.com at least on the chipboard um, what I will notice is the back side, the background is um, a whiter, it's still cream, it's like a creamy white, but it's definitely whiter than the actual Simple Stories collection itself. This is much more of a cream, like in a true sort of vintage cream color. So the colors themselves are pretty true to like the yellows and the blues and the pinks and things like that, but the background that these are all set on is definitely um, whiter here and cream here, where a white cream, whereas it's an actual true cream. So one thing to keep in mind, depending on what you like, um, that I will say is definitely the difference between these two. Now for the actual papers and whatnot, I only got a couple of sheets. This was the sticker sheet. I did not buy the collection pack, so I did grab the sticker sheet. Lots of, again, usable items. There weren't, the stickers aren't gigantic and really hard, you know, too big to use. So um, I thought this was a great way to get the stickers and not the whole collection because I didn't need all the papers. And I wasn't in love with all the papers, so this was a good compromise. I did get, I think, Yes, I did get two of this one. This is the elements, the two by two elements, and I don't think it doesn't have a name. So this is all those little two by two squares, and I thought for me, I likely will end up fussy cutting a lot of these. Um, and so I thought, again, there were lots of good images, love the florals and the colors of this collection are beautiful. And then the background is this green geometric kind of pattern, which I thought was great to just use for, I wouldn't use it as a background, but layering, it's great. So I did get two of those so I could cut one apart. This floral I thought was, this one is called Celebrate Today. And I did think that this one was a pretty simple floral to fussy cut. I would not probably fussy cut these little sprigs. I'd probably fussy cut and like cut those off when I went to do the fussy cutting, but I thought this was a good floral to fussy cut. And so I got two pieces because I actually really did like the background of this. It's just that gingham in a pink. And so I was, I thought I could use this for again, a layering piece and then this to fussy cut. So from that collection, that is all I ended up picking up. Um, so like I said, mostly just the embellishments because for me, I have a lot of pattern paper to begin with. I can always 
put these ephemera pieces and whatnot with other papers in my stash and they will coordinate perfectly so I opted to in most cases get more of the embellishment pieces than necessarily the pattern papers so the next sort of pieces from a collection are the this is all I got from Amy Tan I don't typically buy a lot of Amy Tan in the past I have um, but over the years I have bought less and less but there are a few pieces from her what is this line called uh, picnic in the park there were a few pieces that I loved or really liked of her new collection and so I grabbed the puffy stickers because one can never have too many puffy stickers and these are so cute love the little birds it's like a boy and girl so cute so cute so many usable um, pieces on this and I love all the rainbows because like I said I'm apparently on a very big rainbow kick right now so I bought those I bought two pieces of this pattern paper as you can probably figure out why I love this blue it's a very very bright blue it's it's really beautiful I don't have a lot of this color in my stash so I wanted to get a piece of this that I could use this side for sure and the name of this one is photo shoot as you can probably imagine and then of course the other reason why I got this piece of pattern paper is because it has a rainbow set of cameras which not only do I want to fussy cut these cameras but you could even do a line like you could cut that across and do one stripe of rainbow cameras Ugh, has my heart I absolutely love it can you ever go wrong with a set of rainbow cameras I don't think it's possible but they're beautiful I love them so I got two and then the other one that I got was picnic in the park and I got this piece of pattern paper it is called whole lot of love and all of the hearts which you know that all this paper is gonna do is get fussy cut and I'm just gonna fussy cut all of these hearts this backside is really cute it's again that really fun blue which I really do like this that I could have easily gotten a second piece of this but I didn't I withheld getting two I I already can tell you that I will absolutely fussy cut these hearts because you can never go wrong and these hearts you can use them on anything any page ever I, you can always put a heart and they're fun and bright and happy colors so that was all that I got from the Amy Tan collection so on to on to oh sorry guys everything's falling over over here okay on to the Heidi swap this is I want to say this is all from her storyline I'm pretty sure it is and I'm going to apologize for the noise because I will open this Ooh, sorry guys sorry 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 these are the stickers and some of these are cardstock sticker and some are clear so one thing I will tell you is for me the clear stickers will go on a piece of white cardstock and I will fussy cut them out because I'm not a huge fan of clear stickers not I do that with all of the sticker books from American Crafts and so these will be no different but these are some of the stickers so we have these are the best days you're some kind of wonderful really great easy little sayings some fun florals there's a shell here are some labels the who what when where is kind of fun the currently eating currently experiencing currently seeing so yeah this is definitely um, her storyline collection and those ones are cardstock here is just a whole bunch of words these are clear so good vibes living the dream girl gang love do good today sunshine on my mind highlight be you you are a limited edition so you can use those for titles here is some labels these ones are cardstock lots of great colors really easily usable these ones are all gold everything from let's adventure to the highlights best day ever best friends forever seize the day destination 
These ones are clear stickers, so we have Time to Party, Airmail, Adventure, Behind the Scenes, Smile, these very tropical sort of Hawaiian florals, some photo corners, again another set of clear stickers, we have geotags, stars, arrows, airplanes, hearts, some labels, or word stickers and XOXOs. This one here, cardstock again, labels, photo corners, really, really cute. And the last page is all clear stickers, um, which are word stickers that again, like I said, I will put on white cardstock and cut them out. It'll also help to give them a little bit more stability but these ones are all colored, so they're kind of fun. What a Wonderful World, Living the Dream, Let's Go, Taking It All In. So lots of really, really great sentiments. No one's you, that's your superpower. That's kind of fun. I do kind of like that. So yeah, really, some of them have really cute sayings. I don't think this could get any better. So those were the stickers. So there's that. And there was 201 according to the package. And then I did buy the sticker sheet as well. This has lots of labels. Again, some more word stickers. Don't worry, be happy. It makes me want to sing the song. And then the back side has a lot of really great layering pieces. So really great stickers for layers. Some you could use for journaling, but I really foresee this as a lot of good layering um, bits and pieces. Now from the papers, I ended up only grabbing this one and I bought two. And I actually didn't buy two at all for the second, for the other side. I actually bought them both to use this side. Because, like I said, a grid or a wood grain is a perfect piece of pattern paper background. And I love a grid. So I definitely bought them both to use the grid. And so that is all I got from this collection, the Storyline collection. I actually, I actually do subscribe to the Hip Kit, and so her um, Heidi Swap's Art Walk collection, um, we did get some of that in the last release from the hip kit so I do know that I have other pieces that are going to coordinate with a lot of what I've gotten here so I opted to just get the one piece of pattern paper. Next up is Chamel and these are all from the Never Grow Up so I did get the florals because I love florals and these are such fun colors Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Such great colors. Schmel's always good with her color combinations. And I got the sticker sheet, which has some super fun stickers. I really like these. There was probably more that I could have gotten from this collection. I opted to not, but this is a great collection. <coughs> Excuse me. There's my rainbow, love the rainbow but really cute. It's got what if all your dreams come true, fun in the sun, back to nature, super cute little word stickers. Love that. I did get the puffy stickers because again, they're puffy and I love them. Look at the ants. Hilarious. We are in Florida and we have lots of, to me, those look like red fire ants which is exactly what we have. <laughs> so, so I should really make some a page that has talks about our many, many mounds of red ants that we treat constantly for in our backyard and yard in general to keep them away because they are everywhere. It's ridiculous. But yeah, super cute. Love those. And then I got the stamp because I'm obsessed with stamps lately. And these had some really great usable little icons and journaling spots. And I love the little ladybug. Look at how stinking cute. 
totally can fussy cut and use that little bird like that little floral cluster yeah really really cute really really usable and then again just like the other collections I only got a few pieces of the pattern paper this first one is called flutter by and here is the back side which I really it really pains me because I didn't get to because this is a navy background pattern piece of paper and I love a good navy anything I love this branding strip so I'll definitely be using that but I should have gotten two because this is a beautiful navy background um, but if I'm honest I'm gonna fussy cut this entire page of butterflies because I love butterflies my name means butterfly and so yeah I am um, I'm gonna fussy cut that whole page of butterflies so I only got one and so that was it this is the enchanted sky which again goes along with my obsession of rainbows and I think Shamel did a layout live recently using this and she even said that she's only gonna do rainbow layouts now uh, which was really funny because I'm, I'm totally with her I love rainbows and this is such a cute piece of pattern paper that I got two of them because I love this side because it's just so playful and fun and then because you all have heard me say my obsession with grid paper this is another a grid and the best part about it is the grid is like a rainbow the lines are like rainbows if you see it in person it's awesome there's even like the splatter that's at the edges it's just beautiful and if I didn't say this one is enchanted joy so like I said I did get two because I love it and technically I could get like a whole pack of 25 of this pattern paper mostly because of this side but also because that's really cute too next and last piece of paper from this collection is the life is the bubbles which really cute I have tons of pool pictures and like water related kind of pictures which I don't we don't do ocean per se but this would be good for pool I think either way fishes are good for any water type pictures but I really really like it for these I think these make great journaling boxes and just great embellishment cluster like the base layer for your clusters for embellishments and so I grabbed this because you know it's got some great little sayings of like creatures I found and you know having you know gone hiking and things like that it's kind of fun to be able to use some of these for those hiking pictures so really really cute and that was it for the Chamel collection I don't think I will probably get more of this collection but you never know I do really like it it was I really I haven't bought most of her collections her more recent collections so that it's nice to get a few pieces of the newest one next up is ooh, everything's falling everything's falling people everything's falling next up was the so happy together collection from simple stories here is the ephemera now this was a combination of peachy keen because they had all the ephemera except for the chipboard as a like one of their daily deals and then I picked up the chipboard and the paper at scrapbook.com so again I didn't buy like the whole collection pack I just bought a few pieces to go with what I had gotten from peachy cheap um, and so this is the this is like the yeah the journal bits and again I like the size they're not too big so really great hopefully you can see those and if you have questions on anything like I said leave me a message and I will be happy to set them all out so you can see a better look at them but those are all the different bits and pieces of the so happy together collection because again it is all home based kind of feel and so I did get the mini stickers so I want to say yep yeah, these are all again cardstock um, stickers none of the clear so this is all words some hearts got an, a navy alpha 
And then you have a whole page of word stickers. Super cute. Family is defined by bond, not blood. You make my heart happy. Together we make a family. It's good to be home. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Home is where your mom is. Family, where life begins and love never ends. So really, really, really good sentiments for any pictures of your family. Super, super cute little images. And then again, more embellishment stickers. I like the colors in this collection. I love the all the navy. And then this, like, I am finding there's a ton of collections with this corally pink, these corally pink tones. More and more seem to have these colors. So lots of labels and circles and uh, tags and banners and things like that. Lots of really usable. I love it because the size make, these are great to layer up and make embellishment clusters. I love to layer my embellishments and make some clusters. More word stickers. It's good to be home together. We have it all. Photos of our family. A legacy of love. Love makes a family. I'm not going to read every single one of them because there's a lot, but again, lots of good sentiments. Same here. Lots of great little word phrases. We are more than friends. We are family. So even friendships could use some of these stickers. A whole page of florals. Again, more word stickers. Lots of word stickers. I will never run out of word stickers now because there are tons of them. I like the my peeps. It's always fun. Our crew. Home sweet home. Where roots run our roots roots run deep. That was hard to say. But that is the sticker book. Really cute. And then this is the six by eight paper pad. So it is already falling apart. It's the one thing I don't like. Um this is just a quick run through because this will actually show you all the papers since I didn't get most of them. I do like this um text pattern paper. I don't think I got that one in 12 by 12. And then lots of really nice florals, lots of easy to use patterns. Um, I, pro I don't use these. I use the back side. Like I'll use that, not the big words. Um, like the same with that. I, I might fussy cut maybe that or love. Um, I'm more likely to use that. These frames are cute. They're a little small. I don't think I would fussy cut them, but I'll probably use the back side. And then it has your cut aparts. And as I turn the pages, they're all ripping. Or not ripping, but they're all coming out. So this isn't going to stay together for very long. Uh, I do really like this globe. I don't know that I, maybe I would fussy cut and use it on a layout. I definitely will use the floral though. So that is the six by eight. Here is the chipboard. This love is a little large, but overall most of the pieces are pretty usable size, like they're not gigantic. Um, the love, I definitely would make sure that worked into a title because I feel like it's really big other than to use it for like just a, a word on the layout. I feel like it definitely would have to go in a title because it's kind of huge. And then paper wise, I got two of this one, which is the so happy together, hello love. And I got two because again, wood grain, hello, has my heart. And then I really like the floral and I could probably fussy cut those, I'm thinking. They're pretty, they're a pretty good floral to fussy cut. So I have that one. And then the only other piece of pattern paper I purchased was this one, which is the I love us. And Again, I will probably fussy cut most of this. I might, you know, cut it in half to use some of this yellow gingham, but I likely will fussy cut a lot of those florals out. It's again another one of those pretty good sized floral to fussy cut. Pretty easy fussy cutting. 
And then I did go ahead and grab the sticker sheet, which has all the word stickers. Together we have it all, family time, we are family, a beautiful chaos, gather together. I love your face, really cute. Brotherly love, life is about the journey. journey. And then it has the tabs down here on the bottom and then your border sticker and then lots of usable stickers up top. So again, totally usable, not gigantic stickers, not too many word phrases. So lots of stuff to layer up for this collection. So like you can see, I did get like bits and pieces of collections, but not like full, full collection. So there's only two or, well, there's only one really that I got most of the collection of. Now, we're almost done guys. If you are still with me, I'm impressed because yeah, this is a long one. Sorry, even part two is long. I'm, I'm sorry. I went ahead and got the Fifth and Monaco collection. I adore this collection. I didn't think I wanted it at first and then I kept seeing it and it's just so bright and happy and colorful and the florals, oh the florals have my heart. So this is the ephemera pack. Again it's beautiful. It's got the blacks and whites and that beautiful pink color and the greens. So yeah. I did not buy most of the ephemera packs from most collections. This one, there are some large pieces, but I think I can still use it. I did, however, get the stamp set because, well, look at those florals. And the butterflies. And the florals. And the butterflies. Yeah. I love it. This is like, I love the stamp set. I don't know how good the quality is. It's not photopolymer. Um, so hopefully it stamps okay, but I did really love the florals. I thought no matter what, you can always use the floral stamps and create your own ephemera. You could easily stamp these and then color them in with alcohol markers and use some like coloring techniques. They have that big open, lots of open space to do coloring. So super cute, love those. I purchased the sticker sheet. So I didn't get everything from this collection. Again, I just picked a few things, um, but I did get the sticker sheet because again, colors are so bright and happy. I just, I love them. And those florals are, oh, stunning, stunning florals. So yeah, lots of word stickers. Again, like I said, I am good for word stickers for like ever. And then I think, yeah, I did open these. So I could easily, I'm going to go quick flip through because we'll be here even longer. Cut aparts. And I'm thinking most of you have probably seen this collection um, since it's been shown, I'm sure, quite a few times. Stripe, this black and white, this geometric pink that is really bright. Oh my goodness, it's bright. This really bright floral which again, I can totally see me fussy cutting some of those florals. This is a really fun polka dot. It's got like the floral in behind the as the polka dot on the black. Totally fussy cutting some of these butterflies. That's, I will have butterflies forever. I have so many papers with butterflies now. This is kind of like a confetti paper with all the colors from the collection. This is a black and white polka dot with these floral sprigs at the edges. Again, probably not going to use this as a background or anything. I would probably just cut it apart for backing paper. And this one is that sort of chevron-y type pattern. Very busy. Definitely probably going to use it more for backing photos. Really cute little floral. Fun geometric green on green. This is a beautiful green leaf pattern. Love a black and white stripe. Oh, it's just beautiful. Love this floral. Like this screams like, put some gesso on me and color me. Like, cause it's beautiful and then fussy cut all my florals. You might see that happen. I have two of them, so you might see that happen. This stripe is very different. Not sure how I feel about it. 
might not be my favorite piece of paper. Not, not loving that one. This I love. Like, hello, beautiful. Like, don't you just love it? It's just, it's so pretty. But yeah, love that. Love this floral. Again, would I use the whole page? No. Bits and pieces of it? Yes. Fussy cut some of it? Yes. This again, giant floral. These I have a hard time using when they're this big. Yeah, you'll see like a piece of that. Like there's no way I'm using this whole thing. I'm not, like, and the florals are so big on this one that fussy cutting them, I'm not even sure I would fussy cut them because they're just, they're big. They're really big. I like this super easy kind of um, wonky dot. The birds, this was the other one that I'm like, mm, I don't know how I feel about the birds. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use this. This will be like, a, I use the white background paper. Uh, I do like this geometric, easy to use. This floral I thought is perfect for fussy cutting. They're not too big. They're pretty easy to fussy cut. So likely that's what's going to happen there. Easy to use pink geometric. And then, yeah, and then we go to the cut aparts and that's the paper pad. I thought since I love the paper so much, this way I had two of each of them. I don't mind the paper pads because I typically will back my layouts with a piece of cardstock. So for me, the pattern paper weight of these is not horrible um, because of the way I usually do my layout. So I opted to get the pack of paper instead of individual sheets like I did for some of the other collections. Next up, and we are almost done people. We are so almost done. Okay, I'm going to bring them both up and then I just have a couple more things. Sorry, it's really long. Um, this is the Vicki Booten collection. I did pick up a couple of things. Here is the sticker book. Again, word stickers, because, you know, I can't have too many of those. Labels and tabs. Some more word sort of stickers. Circular stickers, lots of arrows. This one here is more words on these kind of like painted stripe. This one here has like photo corners and banners and tags and lots and lots of layering pieces. It's awesome. Same with this. Tons of layers. Lots and lots of pieces. I love the ability to be able to stick lots of these together and make my own sort of layered embellishments, which is what I love. So there is everything in that one. So there are eight pages, 194 stickers. I also picked up the stamp set because like I said, I can't stop myself. And it has some fun stars, some arrows, some words, a little box that you could either do journaling in or stamp these I think would fit in there. And then it also has the three sizes of stars, um, it has the die cuts or the dies to cut those stars. So that's really kind of fun. You get double, double um, use of this because you can make the stars, die cut the stars and then stamp them or the other way around, probably easier. So that is that. And I also got the sticker sheet for this one. Lots of great stickers. These shoes are kind of fun. They, remind, they look like the Converse almost, which my daughter loves. I really like that floral. This is a fun, really great kind of like travel collection. So I can use it for some past travel collections. I don't know how much traveling we'll be doing in the next little while, so definitely pull out some of my past travels. And then again, most people have seen these collections, so I'm going to flip through it really, really fast. And these are the papers. Love this floral. I want to fussy cut it. This really bright green. Don't know that I'm going to use that. Love the rainbow. Totally going to use that. This one is like a navy on a cream, which is totally usable. These are cute, um, maybe a strip of it. 
not going to use the whole thing. The back side, I definitely want to use this for some like pool photos because it definitely feels, it has that wave feel. These are cute. They'd be great to fussy cut um, some of these. So we'll see if I end up doing that. The back side is this again has that to me it has that sort of watery feel to it so I really do like that this is a really fun piece of pattern paper I saw Christina Sorge do a layout with this as her background which I really liked so I think this makes a great background it does all the work for you with the sort of mixed-media feel I will likely other than using this to like back photos I'm not really a big animal print lover um, so I can't see myself using that for more than just backing photos. This is fun. Again, I find a lot of these patterns, I would use them not necessarily as a full background sheet, but as, um, you know, elements to layer up on pages. This has like all the houses in the background. And so it's like a watercolored background. Really fun. Has like a rainbow feel. These stripes, it's a rainbow, so I do love it for the fact that it's a rainbow. It's not totally my favorite piece of paper, but I do kind of think it's fun. This backside, again, has that rainbow feel to it. I do like that. This is nice. Again, I wouldn't use it for a background, but I do really like it. This is a fun piece with all the stripes and the greens and navies. This one definitely, of her collections, has a. this one definitely has that rough, like, vintage kind of distressed, excuse me, feel to it. This is fun, the paper airplanes. And then the backside is the um, mailing envelopes. I love this paper. Totally going to fussy cut all of those stars because they're rainbow stars. I mean, really? It's like all her other collections, like there were the hearts on one of the other collections, totally fussy cut all of those from her past collections. The backside is, this would work great as a background um, for a layout. Just has these tiny dots, kind of like a rainbow watercolored background. Really cute. Here's the cut aparts. Can you use those for three by four cards or you know fussy cut out the images background has like a geometric orange pattern so lots of color in this these are your four by six cut apart with a map pattern on the back I don't know where that is I don't know what part of the world that's in is maybe Boston somewhere up north I don't know I don't know I don't have a clue and then it repeats so that is my Vicky Booten collection. So super fun, really cute, loved that one. And of the last collections that I purchased, I got the Magical Forest collection because, well, it's adorable and I love it. And I didn't, again, get everything. I just got a few choice pieces. So the sticker book, because apparently the other thing, if it's not rainbows, I'm obsessed with stickers because I have a ton of them now. Uh, this is, it definitely has lots of clear. I think most of these, if not all of them are on clear sticker. So I don't love that, but I will put it on white cardstock. So super cute. I know people have already seen these, so I'm not going to take a lot of time. Love all the floral bits and pieces. Super easy to layer those together. These are fun little banner phrase sayings. Be kind, have fun, believe, explore. So fun. Good, good for pictures of my kiddos when they were younger especially. Love all these hearts and stars in the gold. And it's like a... I don't know if you call it a rose gold or like a almost like a coppery gold I'm not really sure maybe a rose gold it's really it's like a it's not like the brassy gold I guess is kind of what I would say and then all the black stickers grow like a wildflower love you to the moon and back 
Then the last page has these cute little images. We've got butterflies and unicorns and bunnies and love. Again, the rainbow, the foxes, the ladybugs. Schmel had ladybugs too. Is there a ladybug thing going? I like I do like ladybugs, so I'm okay with it. And then foxes and bears. Super cute. So those are the stickers. And then I have the twelve by or six by twelve sticker sheets, which have stay little forever. I wish, but they don't. Wildflower adventures, always be brave. I love the camera, the wander. Let's have fun. Really, really cute collection. I love the mushrooms. They're adorable. And there's the little boy and girl. And since I have one of both, this collection is perfect. And then this is the chipboard because it's just so stinking cute. Made of stars. I love it. Live with life with you is wonderful. So cute really good camera. I really like that. And again, the little boy and girl. Super cute. Love that. Lots of usable images on this one. And then because I couldn't decide, I got the paper pad. And I can use, I'm, I, there's mostly, there's, I don't think there's any sheet in this that I don't see myself using in some way, shape, or form. So sometimes with paper pads, I'll you end up using the white as a white piece of cardstock, but I really liked everything in this whole sticker or this whole um, paper pad. So really, really cute three by fours. Again, cutting them apart is likely how I will use them. This really cute heart. They're actually hearts. They don't. They look like dots in some cases, but they're actually hearts on the cream background. Black hearts on cream. This is such a cute paper with all the little woodland animals in the trees super cute really good just a grid simple I could see myself putting some like white paint on the background of this and using it for a background again the rainbows I love them so cute geometric yellow mustard yellow pattern this is like a coral with I want to say it's like a gray I don't think it's navy although it might be like a star pattern and then this text is super fun. Again, it's all those little icons, the little animals in the frames. They'd be cute to cut some of them apart. Really cute. This is a, like a steel blue with a white polka dot. Really cute floral. I think you could fussy cut those. At least some of them. A nice dark green. Again, a rainbow. I love it. A wood grain has my heart. And then we have some fun strawberries because love strawberries. This kind of fun basket weave gingham pattern. And then another cut apart. So cute. Here is a star on a lighter blue. And those are black stars. Then we have the mustard with these other little florals. I like this small floral. It's really easy to use. And then we have the geometric triangles. Very sketchy. I like these. I actually could use this as a background. Um, maybe put some, like I said, white paint or something on top of it. Could be kind of cute. Big blotchy I don't want to say they're not paint strokes they're like free form circles in a lot of colors that are sh represented in the collection and then the super cute mushroom paper who doesn't love the mushroom paper it is adorable and then these are like rainbows but they're just dots on peach so really fun and then it repeats again so like I said Lots of really great papers, super cute. I love them. And that is what I grabbed from the Magical Forest collection from Maggie Holmes. Now, last but not least, two things. I have my Spiegel Mom scraps. 
which I got one of the color kits that she puts together and this is the wood veneer that came with it so it's some um, florals and some leaves and some butterflies and then here are the sequins in beautiful blues and that coral tone really really beautiful and then sorry for the noise I, it came with anchors away and corny flower blue so on the back side you can kind of see the colors so lots of blues and some peachy orange colors it also has that wood little thing that you could turn slice of wood that you could turn into an ornament sorry I'm gonna put that over there so it's not so loud this is oaky bear blue and orange sherbet and Bahama Mama so there's the back side of all the colors. So as you can see, goes perfectly. Ooh. Bring them all up here so you can see it. See how perfectly they all go with that sequin mat, that sequin pack. They're just awesome together. I love it. So that is one thing that I got from Speak of Mom Scraps. And then I did grab, and I'm apologizing again for the noise. I'll pull them out fast. <clears throat> I got the pink promenade sequins, which are all pinks, and then they have these little wood veneer hearts in them, and it is adorable. I think they are so pretty. I love the pink super cute and then this one was the Malibu sunset so can you tell I go for the blues and the pinks for sure I absolutely love them but the colors in this is just beautiful I love that blue I love that blue color and then last but not least I have winter's delight so again more of that blue and then it has that light very light pink has a few snowflakes in it as well so super cute and then last or almost last I picked up when I was at when I was shopping at scrapbook.com I picked up two of these paper glaze this is like I believe it's like a texture paste from picket fence or yes yes picket fence so I haven't tried these yet I believe it's like a texture paste or a or some sort of um, paste of some sort now the one thing I will say they're beautiful colors I got uh, let me see peony pink and ocean poppy interesting so I got like the blue and then this pink Here's the one thing I will say about this is for the price, I feel like, now I don't know what these are like yet. I have not tried them. I will definitely tell you when I use them or you'll see them on a video probably. And I'll let you know how I feel about them. I can see that they definitely have like um, some glitter or like a sparkle texture or a sparkle to them. So I know they will have that sort of um, shimmer when I put them on the only my only thing about these is how small the package is um, yeah they're they're tiny like I don't have one right beside me but even the Vicki Booten um, texture paste or her pastes um, are bigger than this and here's the thing these were the same price or maybe even a little bit more or at the if they're not the same price a little bit more if they're less they're only less by like 10 cents we're not talking like a dollar or something but I feel like for the size of what's in these compared to like the Vicky Booten if they're like the same if they have the same kind of look I definitely think like ones like from Vicky Booten are probably a better price than 
these as much as I hate to say that. Now I don't know, maybe these will really blow me away and that will totally offset the fact that they do seem a bit pricey for the size. Um, but if they last and they don't, my other thing is if they don't dry out, then the price might be worth it because um, I do find that sometimes when you open these, I have to find a better way. If anybody knows a good way to keep these from drying out fast, uh, let me know because I do find that sometimes once you open them, you don't have long before they dry out and they aren't usable anymore. So that is the other thing I got. Last but not least, and if you've stuck with me, I, you are, I applaud you. You are amazing because I probably would have stopped a long time ago. Um, I did get from my scrapbook.com order, I did get the Dana Wakely, yeah, Dana Wakely glossy spray or gloss spray. I got all of the colors except for one, I think. I don't think I got cheddar. I think that was what it was called. But this is magenta. I honestly cannot wait to use these. And I'm going to try to take these out without making a huge amount of noise. But let me show them all to you. So here is olive. So there's that one. And there's the magenta. And then I have the lemon. Again. These are like, they're like a spray paint. So you can hear them. Hear the, if you hear that ball in them, they're like the Heidi Swap Color Shine. They have that ball in them. Here's the eggplant. I really want to try making like a galaxy background. I saw somebody do that with these and it's pretty incredible. Because, they, because they're a paint, they sit on top of the paper. They don't sink in, which is really cool and they react when you spray them on top of each other they they react it's it's pretty wild this is the fuchsia color so I cannot wait to play with these so let's just say I got like I said all the colors but one here is the lime here is the white So that'll be my solution for, instead of always having to pull out white paint, which is usually what I use, I do have some Mr. Huey white, which works pretty good for white splatters, but I think this will actually work better for white splatters. Here is the marine. So this is like a tealy blue color. Here is the night. So again, a dark blue. And then here is the ocean. So can you tell I love the, the, anything that has all these blue, these blues and greens or blue and tealy kind of colors, because I'm all, I always gravitate to anything that has lots of these in their range of colors. And then here is the turquoise, which is probably like these ones here, these here are going to be like my favorites, these ones right here. But this was the last thing that I got. and. Like I said, I applaud you if you stayed with me. When I go to use these, I will definitely let you know how I like them. And if I play with them, I'll try to film it so that you can kind of see the different things you can use with these or do with these sprays. Um, I think they're going to be a lot of fun. They are really beautiful. And I've watched a few videos online and they look like a lot of fun. So guys, with that, that was my epic two-part haul. So guys, I will go and put all of this away and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.